watercolour is one of the most wonderful mediums. To make good watercolour and great art, we need to know the marks that we need to make to produce wonderful watercolours with transparency, with translucency. So today we're going to look at wet in wet, un uncontrolled soft edges. We're going to look at damp in wet, controlled soft edges. We're going to look at graduated washes, moving from one colour to another, which is great for sunsets. We're going to be looking at dry brush. We move from our lightest tones first to our darkest tones, unlike oils which you move from your darkest and finish off with your light. So, let's get started. I've taken the liberty of being able to uh, draw some little squares on here. We call these the, the famous Java squares. The wet in wet, which will give us an uncontrolled soft edge, a damp in wet, controlled soft edge, graduated wash, moving from one colour to another, and dry brush, which gives you a hard edge. All the components that will come together to make a great watercolour. Uh, when you mix your watercolour washes, we'll start with cobalt. Make sure there's plenty of water in your mix. I've got my board on an angle. Uh, it's a little more than the angle I would normally work at, but so you can see and appreciate this wonderful medium. If you mix plenty of water, make it a very wet wash. Maybe if we considered uh, different uh, types of washes, uh, a wet wash is something in the consistency of water. Uh, the next consistency would be milk, the next consistency would be cream, and the next consistency would be like butter. What we need to do is have a bead of water there. If we scoop up the, the watercolour paint, and deposit it on the paper, you'll see there's a bead of water. And usually I have a little sing here. What is this thing called love? It's the bead, it's the bead of water. The bead is one of the most wonderful um, tools that you'll ever have with watercolour. Uh, the bead is the, the tool that actually carries the pigment down the page. And as you see, I just have to use the tip of this Roy Mac Revolution brush, and it just allows the bead of water just to tumble down the page. It's very wet. If you run short, you can always deposit more. Look at that. That is something so beautiful. Almost as good as a good feed. The watercolour bead. As that tumbles down, and we've picked up plenty of watercolour mixed with lots of water, the dry paper here acts as a handbrake to this wash. The wonderful thing about these brushes is if I squeeze the bottom of the brush we can pick up the bead and it acts like a vacuum cleaner. Squeeze it out, pick it up and you've got this lovely wash that's just been tumbling down the page. <clears throat> we'll pick up some red mixed up to the same consistency as the blue and if we just drop that in, we see it runs everywhere and it explodes. This is an uncontrolled soft edge. Could be great for clouds, could be great for foliage, could be great for all sorts of applications. But it's a, a same consistency of water in the mix of the blue as is there in the red. There again, we've got a bead on the bottom which will squeeze out our brush and pick up the excess. Uncontrolled soft edge, wet in wet. The next little square that we'll do is damp in wet. So we've got the same wash happening again. Scoop up and allow that bead to rest on your paper and let it tumble down the page. You'll see as it tumbles that it just deposits that beautiful cobalt blue straight into this range paper which is a beautiful white it just carries the the paint so freely but it accepts because of the texture of the paper it accepts the the wash and the paint the flakes of paint that are being deposited into its grain pick up the excess 
Now unlike this wet in wet mark, this is going to be a damp in wet. So we need to make a different mark. It's all about marks we need to make to make art and wonderful watercolours. If we use the same colour, but in a stiffer mixture, maybe a mixture into a cream, and we wait until the wet shine just drops off this second little square, when we put a mark there, we get a soft edged mark that just creeps into that wash, but it's a controlled soft edge, it's staying where I put it. Where this one ran everywhere, this mark stays where I've put it. So that's a, a wet in damp. Okay. The next uh, little square that we'll do is a graduated wash. Great for sunsets. Here we go again. The bead of water that carries the pigment down, the greatest tool that you'll ever use, no matter what colour you use. If we take it halfway down the square, squeeze out our brush and pick up the excess, then we can pick up our red, just move into the edge of that and let that tumble down. That's the same mix of water. It can be great for wet sand coming into dry sand, great for sunsets and it leaves a beautiful mark that graduates from one colour to another. It's a soft mark that gives you a graduation. Our next mark is simply a dry brush mark and it leaves a hard solid edge that is great for the calligraphy that we use at the end of a painting. Because we move from our lightest tones to our darkest tones and our softest edges to our hardest edges, these are marks that you'd use at the end of a painting, not at the beginning. That's it for that.